very warm day to all. I am Rospil Sandosh of Class 9, studying in Carmel Public School. I am here to share a few words on the topic, Science, a good servant, but a bad master. Science has transformed human life beyond all imagination. Thanks to the effort of few scientists, man is no longer a helpless toy in the hands of nature, but the powerful master of three worlds of land, air and water. Science has changed our outlook, our mental makeup, our thoughts and ideas and our hopes. We live, move and breathe in science today. A triumph of science is seen everywhere in life. Can we visualize the shape of things before the birth of science? Alfred Nobel invented dynamite to help workers in mines, but not to blow up people and their properties. However, there is the other side of the picture. Science has done its greatest disservice to people in the field of armaments and destructive engines of war. Gunpowder was hailed as a great achievement but humanity should drew on the day in which this invention took place. It was used and perfected into hundreds of weapons of death and destruction. Still, the scientific brains of many nations are vying to produce more weapons of destruction. And so, the question arises, is science a bane or boon? If science meant for men's happiness, is done by man for his own death and destruction. What can science do? If science has done ingenious methods of death and destruction, it is not so slow to make effective methods of counteracting them. It has been found out that the energy generated by the release of an atom bomb is sufficient to burn four square kilometers of land and to kill about 80,000 people. But if the same energy is used for constructive purposes, it is capable of making wonders. We are in a crossroad of road. One arm leads to greed and destruction, while the other leads to peace and prosperity. It is for us to decide whether to destroy this world with atom bomb or to rebuild it with atomic energy. Thank you.